Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. We're actually out at the track testing Salty tonight. We have streetcar takeover tomorrow and that's a quarter mile class and I still don't even have a really good quarter mile pass in this car, let alone a good eighth. But we got the radials back on it. Last time, if you guys remember right, it was cutting the tires and all of that crap and we were having to deal with that. So today, we're gonna throw a tune up in this thing and hopefully, I gotta get out of here by early because we gotta be up there super early. But uh, I'm hoping two to three passes tonight and see if we can get a really solid eighth mile. If not, maybe a quarter mile pass in today. So working on the boost curve right now. It's kind of gonna be a little bit softer than what was even on the no prep, but I still have the separation tune up in the shocks, hoping that it goes down. If not, we'll come back around. We'll put the weight transfer set up back in the shocks that we know goes down the no prep like you guys have seen in the last few videos and uh, hopefully we can make some steam here and maybe even chase Salty's PB, but one step at a time. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shift this thing above 7,000 this time. Talking to Dan at Circle D, he says, why the converter's not doing what you think it's supposed to be doing because it's like not hardly dropping at all in the shifts because you're not revving it high enough. I told him we're gonna rev to 72, 7,400, so probably bump this up to 72 and we'll let it ride out there. So this will be the highest the car's ever revved as well. Just loaded the tune up in it. We're gonna do a two-step check, make sure it comes up clean on boost and all that. Every once in a while when we switch from pump, Race fuel, it acts a little weird, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, clear everything out, and we should be ready for our first pass. You guys can see on that two-step check it like comes up real rough and then once it's cleared out it comes up all right but uh, I'm gonna look at the top fueling and everything here and see if I can clean that up so if we can get it to come up on that two-step a lot cleaner than than normal as you guys can see there's one to add some fuel right there so go ahead and add a little in that area right yeah <laughs> everyone's out hanging out helping me tonight all right let's go ahead and head up to the lanes for our first hit Give her some 60 foot, we'll chop that thing down. We're gonna go on eight tonight. So looking at 
the slip. 152.60, terribly slow. 592, the fastest car's ever been is 562. And then 125.7, best mile an hour 127 ever. So we're creeping up on that on really low boost. I'm about to pull the uh, the data log. Lifted early, 92, 127. So we'll throw a better tune up in this thing and let it go out a little bit further, a little bit faster. And just keep jumping away at it, maybe. 592, three tenths to go a PB in the in the eighth. So we'll have to see if we can get a PB tonight. Put it true, let's see how much. And also keep in mind the boost ramp super conservative as well i don't have near as much boost in as early as i could have it in but uh let's take a look here so we left on a whopping four and a half pounds of boost typically to go 570 560 before we were at uh, like nine to ten and then up top made 15.2 pounds of boost so uh yeah pretty 15 15 2 too. So really, really pretty soft tune-up. If I can bring the boost in sooner, like we weren't at 15.2 until like halfway through the run, but nice, nice shift drop. We went all the way from 72 on the shift down to six. So 1200 RPM drop, so now we can force power to it. So we're definitely getting into the happy spot in the converter, which is awesome. And then uh, there's a little bit of roughness up here at the top of that gear. So let's see, see what the fueling, where we're at on fueling and what it was wanting right there. Four, 12, three, okay. I mean, I don't think that's too bad. Ooh, throw a little bit more in it on the hit. Let's try to leave on like five to seven and then we'll bring it in a lot sooner and we'll probably go a couple more up top. Ended up putting another three on the dome. So 15 should it net us about 17 like on the no prep put another 150 on the two step and a little bit more on the leave and then brought the boost ramp in a whole lot sooner. So hopefully 140 something 60, hopefully a 560-ish, maybe even a little bit higher mile an hour. Definitely should go high. This should be the fastest mile an hour Salty's ever went eight. So let's see what happens. All right, here we go. I think this is gonna be our last pass for the night. Hopefully everything goes good. I'm thinking I might run it out to the back if everything feels good, everything should be good. Hopefully we're looking at like a mid high, 870 maybe pass, I don't know. Uh, threw a little bit more in it. This should definitely be the fastest eighth mile an hour. But only time will tell. Hopefully everything goes good. The track will be there for it. If it does what it did earlier, just better and faster. We'll be good for tomorrow. <laughs> First real full quarter mile pass Salty's ever made because it's never been geared to go off the back. Other than when we were going real slow, I guess, initially. So uh, like 10 O's and maybe nines or whatever. So I'll take that. I think that's perfect going to tomorrow. We'll chip away at the eight tomorrow out there. Bandemir's track should be great. We'll throw more in it up top. And I mean, 130 mile an hour, we should be able to go 540s on that. Probably mile an hour wise, we just got to chip away on that short time. So we're uh, get the shoe packed and Head to Denver. Oh, we're gonna download the log. We'll look over everything real quick, see how much boost that was. I'm gonna assume that was right around 17 pounds, kind of like what we were at on the no prep down in Texas. Uh, but everything came in a little bit sooner. We'll see how much it left on to go the 140, 146, 60 foot. Still really slow for the car, but uh, I'm, I'm curious. I'll get back, look at video, and see like how much it's transferring, if it's even trying to pick the tire up, how well it's planning the tire, all that stuff. Ooh. Weird, we have a really weird thing happening with the map right now. Like, I don't know what's up with this weird map signal. Um, oh, fuel pressure is going all over the place. Look at that. 69, 68, 69, 68. So I gotta figure out what in the world that is. That is not a very clean RPM out there. I don't like that really at all. So I need to figure out what's going on with fuel pressure and uh, stuff there. So super weird, some really weird stuff going on there, but either way it left on only 4.8 pounds of boost and it made a total of... Awesome pass, man. Thanks, buddy. 
So really weird that the boost is also oscillating super goofy right here, but it looks like at peak it made 18 pounds, but on the low side it made 16 pounds. So I gotta figure out why the boost is all over the place. That's super goofy, uh, which then it's jerking timing in and out, and then it makes your run not look worth the shit. So we definitely gotta figure that out for tomorrow. But otherwise, not too freaking bad. But again, not perfect, so we gotta figure some stuff out and see what's going on with a few things, it looks like. Good morning. So we are up here in line at Bandemir. It's 7.02, they're stacking cars in. Try to get in here as fast as possible. Last night was super late. Salty went a PB in the quarter mile, first real ever quarter mile pass that I had set up on the car other than, like I said earlier, and uh, a fastest eighth mile per hour, but not fastest in the eighth. So we'll see if we can get a fastest eighth and maybe reset our quarter mile today because we plan on turning it up even more to compete in the street race class. So if you guys want to see some street car takeover action, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button. We'll see you guys in the next video.